the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Thank you. Today, Mass is offered for Sharon Vegas and family who are living for all souls and for Ann Rieger. And we commemorate St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, one of our few homegrown saints. So we enter into these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who crowned with the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you, grant by her intercession an example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only begotten son into the world so that we may have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth. earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son, he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor and to proclaim liberty to captives 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. By now it was already late, and his disciples approached him and said, this is a desert place, and it is already very late. Dismiss them so that they can go to the surrounding farms and villages and buy themselves something to eat. He said to them in reply, Give them some food for yourselves. But they said to him, Are you to buy 200 days' wages worth of food? and give it to them to eat? He asked them, how many loaves do you have? Go and see. And when they had found out, they said, five loaves and two fish. He gave orders to have them sit down in groups on the green grass. The people took their places in rows by hundreds and fifties. Then, taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the, the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. He also divided the two fish among them all they all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up 12 wicker, basket, wicker baskets full of fragments and what was left of the fish. Those who ate of the loaves were 5,000 men. The Gospel of the Lord. There's a young man visiting me today. He's a native of the great nation of Vietnam. He wants to be a priest. He's studying already at seminary, and God willing, in just a few years, I'll be the old priest who stays in his rectory, maybe, and I'm allowed to say mass from time to time, provided I don't lose my place too often. I want to talk about perspective. Uh, we live in, of course, the United States of America, but we still really have a very European perspective because we don't refer to Europe as the East, although it is east of us. We say places like Spain are in Western Europe. I prefer to think they're in Far Eastern America. And we don't think of uh, the people in Vietnam as being from the Near West. But they are the Near West. And India would be the Medium West. And Eastern Europe would be the Far West. And I guess Western Europe would be the Far, Far West. Uh, well, what are we going to make about that? Well, how do we see things? We see them according to those perspectives. Elizabeth Ann Seton is a woman, married, widowed, has children. Some would say her only hope would have been to marry some other man, hopefully with means, and raise her children. 
but she didn't see that as the only option. Her perspective was different. She thought perhaps religious life was where she needed to be. That's where she put her heart, put her effort, and lo and behold, we have a saint. She was even more far-fetched to imagine because she had been raised an Anglican. So she's become a Catholic and become a founders of religious community in spite of having been first a Protestant wife and mother. Hmm, how can this be? Well, it isn't that long ago we were celebrating Christmas, just a few days, huh? And what does Mary say when Gabriel uh, proffers the idea of being the mother of God's son? She says, how can this be since I do not know man? And Gabriel invited her to have a different perspective. I think this liturgy of ours always invites us to have a different perspective. We come in here, we're painfully conscious of our sinfulness. We're painfully conscious of our inadequacies. But what if we viewed it differently? What if we disregarded those conditions and rather regarded the conditions that are ours because of our baptism, that we are made children of God, that we become part of the family of God, that we become a member of the tribe that is marked with the sign of the Lamb. Then what might we be? Hmm. Something to think about. In Christ's name. For an increase in priestly and religious vocations, may God call men and women to dedicate their lives to Him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater respect in this world for the sanctity of all human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the physically and spiritually hungry, may Christ generously provide for their every need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God's dwelling among us draw us ever more deeply to Him. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Sharon Negus and her family for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, especially Anne Riger, for whom this Mass is offered, may her soul and all the souls of the faithful departed soon to be welcomed to the table of the wedding feast, we pray. Lord, Almighty God, our Father, please hear and answer these, our prayers, both spoken and unspoken, which we offer from our hearts through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth is given and human hands have made. Become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. O Lord, we ask that you look graciously upon our gifts placed on your altar in celebration of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and grant by the power at work in this sacrifice that we may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today, You've revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. So with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, uh, Gregory, our Bishop, Joel and Bernard, his auxiliaries, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation, while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with a burning desire for the heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God have you. The blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks, Thanks God. God.